Now, when you were on the show with them, you were already doing media, correct? Right. So, I actually want to go back to March 10th, 2020, where that's like the first video that we see online of you posted. But mm -hmm. off camera, you told me that you actually were shooting beforehand. Mm -hmm. And can you kind of tell the people kind of what happened with that? Yeah. So let's keep it a hundred, okay? Mm -hmm. So start from the jump. That's <laughs> best way to do it. Um, I started. I think it was like 2019, and um, there there was these twins. Goodness, please forgive me. They they were workout twins. They were Puerto Rican. They were very very thick, and they're very popular. I think they live in Texas now. But if you hear me say that, you already know who they who they are. And I did an interview with Blinkin' Pretty Kelly. You know what I'm saying? I think this is all 2019. And unfortunately, like, I don't want to fully, like, play victim. You know what I'm saying? Because it happened multiple times. If you realize something, you just cut that out. So I was with, in a toxic relationship. And somehow <laughs> all my videos got deleted every time we shot. And so... Yeah, after that, I was like, I really can't. I cannot do this no more. Like, I don't think I'm really built for this. I should figure out, like, what do I want to do for real? Like, How did you find out it was him? Because it's like, I don't know if I should put this in. We, we can cut. Okay. We can, pass. we can pass that. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So you were doing YouTube. And eventually, you were start. You had to start from scratch. So your first interview was mm -hmm. with Tani Blanco. Was that her name? Tani Blanco. Tani Blanco. Hey. So can you tell me about that? What made you want to do her for your first interview? Um, what made me want to do her is Tani is such a personable human being, one of the like best people I've ever met here in Rochester. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, she is a lash artist she has a story she has a drive she is a hustler she is a boss and she will be one of the best at what she does in the city and out of the city i believe that i stand remember that and i just felt like i love the way that she supports other women and it's just like that's a woman that i already know that i see will do far and um i'm like i had to interview her and she's so dope too so this was your first, like, interview. Um, so the content you were making before, like, was it, like, just, like, regular YouTube-style videos? Or was it, it was interviews? interviews? Okay, okay. So you've been interviewing for a while. Yeah, that was, like, 2019, first of all. Okay. And I still have pictures. I had a blue suit on. Okay? I had, I think, some flats on. Not flats, like, you know, open toe flat shoes. I was, like, looking the part. I got my makeup done, my hair done. Mind you, I was broke. And I was getting all of that done, like, with the little money I had. Because I'm like, I'm just about to make it happen. I'm about to make it happen. I'm going to pay for this and that. And, um, yeah, I was really proud of myself. Because right. I, I, it's just, like, it's so sad because it's, like, when you start out what you do, no funny, you're always going to feel like, oh, yeah, this about to this about to happen for me right now. Like, yeah. I'm the next Wendy Williams, right? I, it's, it's about to happen, like, next month. I already yeah. know because I'm doing all this right now. And sometimes, you know, it's dangerous to get, like, too big-headed at a point. Even when you know you're doing well and people start recognizing you and stuff, it's dangerous. Like, don't think like that. You got to really be humble. It's like being, hum being humble is one of the best experiences ever yeah. anytime in the past it's like if i get mad if i called somebody like oh like she broke for that because somebody came at me and i said she i promise you god would take some money away like i gotta spend three thousand on this and i i I, did, I would have so many money problems i'm a true believer in karma and watching what you say because you could be there right then and i knew instantly when i had money problems i'm like i know exactly why i have money where i was right now if i just stop doing too much what was like the biggest money problem you ever had mm. like you ever had like a broken down car that kind what mm. let's get to that first of all 
if you're a Leo or you know Leos, you know we do too much. My car was so small at this point. I was driving to Philly, okay? That's where my family is. That's where I'm from. And basically, I was going to fly out of Philly because if you're in Rochester, New York, like, the flights are mad crazy. And I was just, like, living my dream life or trying to. My car breaks down. Mind you, I have a flight to make. <laughs> I had to abandon my car. Okay. Still it take went on a- that trip? Her- Still did. <laughs> it still had bad fun. It did. Hilarious. Okay, so, but, yeah, I had to Uber. Like, I, I'm like, oh, my gosh, all of this money, I'm not even about to have fun. But I did, of course. And I know God got me. He definitely did that. So. God did. Mm. 